Kenyatta has a, a reputation of excellence. The high school is, has been named one of the top 100 high schools in the country two years ago by U.S. News. We moved to La Kenyatta for the quality of the schools. We as parents also have a good sense of community with other parents. From the most elementary levels, our students are being enriched. Art and music and drama is essential to their education. If there was no money from the foundation, not only would there not be those programs, but class sizes would increase dramatically. Small class size is such a blessing now. We walk in there this year, we keep thinking, this is such a small class size. This is so nice. Wow. Hi, I'm Michael Gross. Like so many of us, I chose to live and raise a family in La Cañada, partly because of our community's excellent public schools. Out of nearly 1,000 districts in the state of California, La Cañada is ranked in the top five. Our high school is ranked 80th in the nation. While the news is full of failing public schools, our district and our children continue to thrive. Hello. Why? Because of our teachers, our kids, our administrators, and because of you and your generosity to the La Cañada Educational Foundation. The Educational Foundation was established in 1978 by a group of concerned parents in response to Prop 13, which basically reduced the flow of tax dollars to our local school districts. Today, the Foundation is still comprised of concerned parent volunteers working to mobilize other school families and community members. The state of California has a structural imbalance in its finances today. With a $32, $33 million budget, we spend about $8,000 a year per student. Yet we only receive about $5,000 a year from the state of California. And that forces us to make up the difference, mostly monies from the community, uh, and especially from the foundation. Typically, you know, you have to eliminate what are considered the extras or what are considered the enrichment programs. And we've seen decimated in local school districts the art, the music, the drama programs. Um, you know, elementary Spanish is, is nearly unheard of. All of those things start to get pulled away one by one um, unless you have the support of a foundation. Probably the most significant aspect of the contributions goes to keeping class sizes smaller not only in the elementary schools, but in targeted classrooms throughout the junior high and high school. Children today are used to getting a lot of adult attention and pay much closer attention when they're in a small group. Yeah, and I know I felt that was important, and that's why we upped our giving last year. Other districts that the class sizes are up at 30, 32 students in the primary level. And so to really have um, the foundation supporting our school system to lower class size is one of the best ways that they can help make sure that their children succeed in, in school and in life. Our high school's Cutting Edge Information Resource Center receives significant help from the foundation as well. So much of their exposure to technology and to research is in the library. There are very few schools in the state of California, it, certainly public high schools, that have a library facility with staff like we do, where there is an, a sense of intelligence floating in the room. The foundation goes beyond the classroom, providing funding for counselors at all schools to help handle the differing needs of every student. If a student is their grades are dropping or whatever, the counselor is the first one to notice and talk to the teachers, meet with the parents. What other supports can we put in place for this child? I also deal with students about their personal needs when they come to me. I'm out there at recess time in the classroom doing lessons on social skills and how to get along. Actually, our counselors are really an integral part of our school. Without the foundation, we couldn't provide the music, drama, and art programs our kids enjoy at every level. There's a lot of research out there that shows that the arts help to promote problem solving, critical thinking in music. There's research that shows it helps students with math and with memory. Drama teaches teamwork and cooperation, and so that can be applied to any subject or any project. It makes them more viable candidates. It is very, very difficult to get into college these days, and this gives our children an edge because they get a wide, rounded education. And it's also the whole social-emotional component that we really value and nurturing in our children, and all of that gets fostered in the interactions that our kids experience when they're engaged in a drama production or performing on stage. The fine arts, I mean, that's the color of our school. 
you know, you take all that away and all you're stuck with is black and white. Every school has academic instruction, every school has core subjects, but this is what distinguishes us. Um, we just can't do without. The foundation continues to support seniors right up until graduation. By funding the high school's college counselors, we assure that every student gets the help and expertise they need as they move forward on the next step of their academic career. The college application process is quite different today than it used to be because it's more competitive and colleges are more selective. What people don't realize is the success of our high school students in matriculating to the finest, most select colleges in the country. Our kids are being accepted to all the Ivies, the technical science schools like Caltech, MIT, Carnegie Mellon, and the top small liberal arts colleges in the country. Over 10% of our graduating seniors are currently attending either Berkeley or UCLA. We had about a 33% admit rate to UCLA, which was way above their average. La Cañada High School was the third most represented high school on the USC freshman campus. That's third in the entire country. We're in competition with kids in private schools and schools with other programs that might have more than we have. So we want to ensure that our children are just as viable as any other candidate from any other school, private or public, in the country, because that's what's happening. The schools are an integral part of our community, fostering our relationships with each other as well as keeping our property values high. Working with clients that are looking to relocate to La Cañada, the driving factor in their decision is definitely the public school system. The school is sort of the social aspect of this community. We have events going on and parents plan their weekends around what we plan at school. But while public education is free, an excellent public education isn't. Every successful district has a foundation like ours. San Marino, Manhattan Beach, Palos Verdes. There's just no way around it. I can't imagine a top performing district in the state that does not have the support of a foundation. What makes the school special is the support of the parents and the community. Everyone needs to donate to the foundation because we support all the children at every school on every campus. Every classroom I walk into I feel like the instruction is just so superior. You can't do all of that without the funding and the funding from the state just isn't there and so we really do continually look appeal to our parents, our community, to step up to the plate and once again dig deep and make the difference with the extra dollars. Donating is easy. Just visit lcfef.org slash donate. You can make your donation all at once or spread it out over the year. And it's tax deductible. The only choice you can't afford is to give nothing. Our schools. Our future. It's up to all of us. Thanks for doing your part.